Now, Pastor James Maina Nganga, founder of Neno Evangelism, has issued a stern warning to Kenyan's TikTok community following the tragic death of popular TikToker Brian Chiram. The controversial clergyman expressed grave concern over the excessive noise and lack of proper guidance on the social media platform. He said this in a quote, Hey TikTok, Ime Haribu, you talk too much. Lazy crazy people, you are the cast generation, look how you are dying. Look how you are drowning in the water. And of course, he went on to say that the death of young people should not be a cause of celebration. He said this in a quote, and you are all going to attend the funeral of one of your own. Do you think God took him away? God doesn't take young people. Where do you think God will take such a young child to be with Moses, Aaron, or Elijah in heaven? That's the devil destroying you. And of course, in a separate video, TikToker celebrity Nyako echoed Pastor Nganga's sentiments, warning that the platform could pose dangerous risk to its users. Nyako, who has a huge following on the platform for her viral content, warned of the potential infiltration of the platform by nefarious influences, disguised as enticing offers such as monetary rewards. She said this in a quote. 95% of TikTok is gone. Satan is coming in the form of money and other things. And we will cheer him and welcome him and praise him as the best. I promise you, one day I will be dedicated. 95% of the souls of Kenyans will be harvested on this platform. And of course, Brian Chiro's recent burial has sparked a widespread debate with many criticizing the dramatic events surrounding the ceremony. In particular, Brian Chiro's family expressed disappointment at the behavior of TikTokers during the burial last Tuesday, 26th March in Idunguri, Kiambu County. According to the family, the funeral quickly descended into chaos as TikTokers became disorderly and difficult to control, preventing the deceased from receiving the dignified and respectful send-off he deserved. Chiro's uncles told MQ News that although some family members had concerns about his lifestyle while he was alive, they had all hoped for a peaceful burial, but their hopes were dashed by the disruptive behavior of the content creators who even invaded the pulpit. This is MQ News.